Yo, what's going on guys, it is Shabs and welcome to another video on the channel. Today I've got for you guys the top 5 formations to use in FIFA's 18 Ultimate Team. I'm doing this off of the demo, off of talking to people that played the game at Games Capture and other top 100 pro players on the scene. So yeah, let's get into it guys, the top 5 formations to use early on in FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Alright guys, so the first one is the 4-3-3 number 2. So this formation is really popular in the demo in terms of the teams that are using it. You got Man United, you got Real Madrid, you got a lot of teams that are already in the game in the demo using this as the base formation. And it works really well. This CDM helps you on defense, the 2CMs help you hold possession well, and then you have wingers that actually cut inside a lot, and they play almost like strikers, and then you got your solo striker up top. This works really well if you have a tank striker in the middle, and then you have two wingers that can score and finish, and they have good physical. That works well there. And then uh, it also, like I said, the 4-3-2-2 helps you. It has a bunch of triangles, so many triangles to do tiki-taka, hold possession well, and then the standard back four, which is also awesome. So yeah, you want to use this formation, guys. And a team that you use it with is Manchester United for head-to-head, -head, if you're going to play head-to-head, because Lukaku's great up top. Then you got Marshall or Rashford on one end, Miki Tidy on the other end, and then you got Pogba, Herrera, Matic. It works beautifully. Try it out for yourself. All right, guys, so the instructions I would use for the 4-3-3-2 is set your wing backs to stay back while attacking, your CDM to cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, and then your wingers, leave them as they are, striker, get in behind, press back line. That's been working great for me. The next one, guys, is gonna be the 4 one 2 narrow. Very popular in last year's build. In fact, it was the most popular formation early on in the FIFA, in FIFA 18, 17. In FIFA 18, it works just as well. Two CMs help you out, the CDM it helps you out as well. It's really well balanced. You have two strikers to play one twos a lot with. The cam helps you be more creative. But in this in these narrow formations, the beauty of it is your central cam. The long shots, as you know, are so are so effective and so OP this year. Power shots, finesse shots. If you have a long shot taker at cam that can pass, dribble, four-star skill moves. A guy that I loved here was Miki Tarian. He was so great as a central cam. Isco was great as well. You can finesse it, pop it from long range. Hazard was good as well in this situation. Um, they'll pass it well with each other. Four star skills is even better as always because you're more creative. Uh, but always, uh, the narrow formations are going to be dominant this year because it's all about offense this year. This year is the year of the offense. So the narrow formations, cam, striker, CM, CDM, beautiful. 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. If you've used it last year, you're going to love it this year again. It's going to work really well. You, you get in behind a lot. Um, you, you get, you're really creative. Your center mids get in behind and score some goals as well. I love this so far in the demo and a lot of other people that I talk to love it as well. And guys, for the 4 one 2 one 2 diamond, the instructions you want to put on them, stay back while attacking on your wing back. Stay back while attacking only on your CDM. No cuts passing the just stay back while attacking your camp stay forward strikers getting behind press back line and that's it all right guys next up at number three we got the 4231 slash 42312 um this formation was popular for me in last fifa i loved it so much because it had a lot of it was again just the phone to into narrow narrow is balanced it had width it had been the middle of the play two cdms to help you on defense it was really well and then this year's installment as you know manual defending is really hard so the two CDMs are going to help you track back really well, cut passing lanes and all that good stuff. Uh, but also they're going to provide a lot of offense for you. And the three cams, once again in this year's build, they play really wide. So that's really good if you're if you're a width player and if you have a tank up top, man, or even smaller. I like smaller strikers in this formation. I use Manchester City a lot for 4-2-3-1. I have Aguero up top. I have Gabi Jesus, Sterling, De Bruyne in the middle, Torre, Fernandinho. It works like a charm. Um, and yeah, your wingers they can cross it into the striker. You can play off each other, driven pass inside, driven cross inside. Um, they usually get behind a lot of the cams. You, the overlapping runs are ridiculous in this formation. So if you're if you're a guy that likes to play with possession and love to wait for the overlapping runs, this formation, man, get your tactics down and it works like a charm. Try it with Manchester City, one of the best teams in the demo so far. Um, I tried it with Juventus. Juventus was a little bit okay. Um, I just didn't know who to play in the center cam because I had Cuadrado, Dybala, Higuain. But who am I going to play in the center? I could play Dybala, but I don't like his three-star weak foot. Um, but yeah, try it out, 4 2 one wide or narrow, they both work like a charm. Um, and yeah, you'll thank me later. And guys, for the 4 2 3 one wide or narrow, the instructions you want to put is, for the narrow one, stay back on your, on your wing backs, cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking on one CDM, man mark, stay back while attacking the other CDM, your three cam, stay forward, striker, get in behind, press back line. For the wide formation, stay, stay back while attacking on your wing backs, your CDM, like I said, man mark on one, cut passing lanes on one, both stay back while attacking. Your central cam, leave him as he is. Your wingers, you want to get get in behind and uh, cut inside. Get in behind, cut inside. Striker, get in behind, press back line. All right, guys. So for the time being, the top two formations of FIFA 18 Ultimate Team right now. At number two is going to be the 4-3-1-2. Very, very popular formation last year. It's kind of like the diamond, but it's much more high pressure, in your face, aggressive. You know, suffocate my opponent kind of play. Again, like I said, this year is the year of the offensive player. So guys like Huge Gorilla, Dragon, they're going to kill it in FIFA 18. Pretty much, man, the 3CMs help you play with Tiki Taka, um, high tempo play. They're going to stand on the line, 
Cam, two strikers, you're golden, man. I, I, I've been using Atletico Madrid in the 4-3-1-2. I love them there. Um, Chelsea was okay, but they didn't have really good strikers up top. I tried those matches to City as well. They're so OP this year. And they work as well as well. I used Gabi Jesus, Aguero, De Bruyne in the middle. Then I had Bernardo Silva on the left side with left footed, you know, across the body. And then I had Yaya Torre and Fernandinho. Works like a charm, man. Um, this formation, though... Like I said, if you're an aggressive attacking player, you're all about offense. You know, aggressive. I'm going to take the ball off you as soon as you get it. Up in your face, suffocating your opponent. This is for you, dude. You're going to kill it. You are going to kill it this year. The passing is much better, as you guys know. The the way that the, the, the runs are made by, by the players in behind, it just it's a charm, man. The 4-3-1-2 is going to be the most OP play formation. And I already know right now, guys like Gorilla, Dragon, Tass are all going to use the 4-3-1-2, just like they did last year. But this year, it's going to be even more OP. And in terms of instructions for this formation, guys, I would set your wingbacks to stay back while attacking. I'm still experimenting with, with balance on the wingbacks because I think, you know, my man Inception on Twitch, he said it could be effective this year. So we'll see how it works. The center mids, you want to keep them balanced, or maybe if, if you really need to, the central, central, center mid, your defensive guy, and make them stay back while attacking. As always, though, just like last year, camp, stay forward, get back, get in behind, press back line for your strikers, and you're golden. You're going to score lots of goals, you're going to pressure your opponent well, and you'll win a lot of games in FIFA. All right, guys, and finally, at number one, the best formation to use in FIFA 18 Ultimate Team, the 4 3 2 1. My oh my, when I've been speaking to these pro players, are they ever excited about this formation? I believe even, even Futwiz Dan said it's his favorite formation. I believe A9 Skill said it's his favorite formation. Um, this formation, guys, I, I can't tell you how excited people are when they speak to me about this formation because it, it's so well suited for this game. Let me tell you why. First of all, your three CMs are going to work like a charm just like 4-3-1-2 in terms of pressuring your opponent. Second of all, this formation is the one formation where your custom tactics work 100% on it. Other formations, it doesn't work 100%, maybe 90, 85, 80. But this formation is, is the custom tactics are affecting the formation a lot. Uh, because it's so narrow, I believe, that's why. So you can play it however you want. This formation, the beauty about it though, guys, if you are a Tiki Taka player, ping, 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 you want to pass the ball a lot. Um, close range, passing, short passes, ting, 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 and then you want to get it behind. Man, you're gonna be you're gonna be killing people in, in this year's FIFA. As your wingers, if you have Ronaldo's Bales of the world, Neymarzitos of the world, your golden, your striker, it could be a tank, it could be a small guy like Aguero. I, I use Manchester City for this one as well, and it worked really well. Um, but I liked it the best on Juventus and Real Madrid. Uh, Juventus because Dybala and Higuain, they're so good together. They work really well uh, in terms of chemistry. And then Madrid, I had uh, Bale, Ronaldo, and Benzema up top, and it worked amazingly, guys. Um, the 4-3-2-1 though. One of the biggest beauties about it is you have the standard back four, you have a balanced midfield, and you have an OP counter-attack based attack. Um, if you want to counter with this formation, you'll kill people, but if, but the biggest thing is build-up play, because the passing is so good this year. If you're able to, like I said, tiki-taka play it, um, not possession play, but tiki-taka fast passing, you know, on the, on the move constantly, um, you're going to kill it. You're going to kill it. If you have fast people on the wings, you're going to kill people left and right and center. Um, trust me, if you're an attacking-oriented player, who likes to pressure players and who likes to utilize his custom tactics to the full potential? 4 3 2 1, you're golden. You're gonna be winning games in FUT Champions, in Seasons, whatever you play, you're gonna be winning games. And from what I've spoken to a lot of top 100 slash pro players, they have told me that the 4 3 2 1 is what they're most excited about using this year in this year's installment. As for the player instructions for this formation, guys, go at it however you want. What I did was I stayed back while attacking on my winger, on my wing backs. My center mid, I had set, uh, stay back while attacking. The three attackers up top, getting behind, press back line, that's it. I experimented with my wing back, wingers having uh, drift wide, getting behind, press back line. Didn't like it too much, so I'm gonna just stick with get, getting behind, press back line for now. Anyways guys, those are my top five formations for FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Let me know if you're gonna use any of them, and if you have, what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new around here for more FIFA tips. Live streams, FUT Champions, all that good stuff. And a new series coming out that I'll really release to you guys really, really soon. As always, have a good day. I'll see y'all later. Deuces.